Well, a young family says the restaurant below their downtown LA apartment has made it nearly impossible to sleep. Blasting music late into the night. Now the city is investigating whether the restaurant is in violation of its permit. On your side's Christine Lazar has their story. The couple and their toddler moved to the U.S. from Europe, and they say they're used to city living and expected some noise living in a high rise downtown, but not at the level they're experiencing. The LAPD tells me they've had at least 10 calls for noise complaints since December. Um, some some zigzags. These are the sounds that fill Ani Kivanyemi's apartment by day. And these are the sounds that fill it at night. The bass goes considerably up from 9 p.m. That's the time we start putting our daughter to sleep. Ani lives here with her husband and their three-year-old daughter. She says their pricey one-bedroom apartment in downtown L.A. has become unlivable because of the noise coming from the restaurant on the first floor, a restaurant they say has been acting more as a nightclub. It feels like somebody is hitting the floor below you with some sort of big batoon, like boom, boom. You feel the vibration is going into your heart. And when they try to sleep. When you close them, uh, we even have this little clip here so we can cover all the holes. Even with these noise blocking curtains. You can even feel it through the mattress. You can feel it through the pillow. When you put your uh, ear on the pillow, you feel your ear drum kind of contracting and expanding. The couple are originally from Europe and moved into the building in November. They don't have a car and needed their building to be walking distance from their daughter's preschool and close to public transportation. They were drawn to the big windows and balcony where they've cultivated a garden. I'm from Europe. I've been living above restaurants. It, it's okay if it's if it's managed properly. It's okay because they they obey the rules that are set by the state. The Los Angeles Department of Building and Safety has an open investigation into the restaurant called Prohibition for potential misuse of its business permit and for converting the property to another use. A spokesperson for LADBS tells us its after hour inspection team is now handling the complaint. And though Prohibition's website says it closes at 1 a.m. Friday and Saturday night, Ani shared with us these videos, which were taken just before 2 a.m. When it's finally finished, maybe let's say 2 a.m., all the people from the nightclub, they just pour on the street, and they are honking the car horns, they're putting their own music with loudspeakers. They are screaming, saying the F word, they are fighting because people are drunk. <laughs> The alcohol and beverage control license for prohibition lists it as a restaurant and says there shall be no dancing on the premises and entertainment provided shall not be audible beyond the area under control of the licensee. But on the prohibition website, it states that the upscale cocktail lounge will quote, elevate your evenings with the pulsating beats of live DJs. We are paying almost 2,600 for this place where we can't sleep where a daughter can't sleep. What are you paying for? The couple now wants out of their lease, but they say the management company hasn't responded to their request. I want to be able to sleep well. If I pay rent for a place, I want to be able to enjoy the place and I want to be heard. I did reach the owner of Prohibition over the phone and he tells me they always close early by 9 or 10 at night and he says they are a struggling business. He also claims that the noise is not coming from his restaurant. The LAPD disputes this. In fact, as soon as we got involved, officers went out and spoke with Ani and her husband. Ani, by the way, told me this past weekend was much better with the music turned way down. Christine Lazar, KCAL News.